In the developmental history of China's Confucius Institute, December 18, 2008, is a significant date worth remembering. On the very day, the Confucius Institute at the University of Liberia, co-established by Changsha University of Science and Technology and the University of Liberia, was unveiled for functioning. Ever since then, there has appeared a craze for Chinese on the ancient land of West Africa. With its name originating from liberty, Liberia is a country set up by released black slaves from the USA who returned for liberty. Located in West Africa, it borders on the Atlantic Ocean and covers 111,370 square kilometers with a population of 3.4 million and Monrovia as its capital. The country, which is rich in mineral and forest resources, has a hot climate with plenty of precipitation. Having suffered from a 14-year war, this is a country where poverty and beauty exist side by side. Already under post-war construction, it is still one of the least developed countries with peacekeeping troops maintaining its social order. The establishment of the Confucius Institute at UL has built a bridge of friendship and cooperation with one end linking to Changsha in China and the other to Monrovia in Liberia. The University of Liberia is the highest institute of learning in Liberia and also one of the universities with the longest history in West Africa. Set up in 1951 based on its predecessor, the College of Liberia, in 1862, the UL now has a student population of about 20,000 studying at seven schools and it offers three disciplines for master's degrees. Changsha University of Science and Technology is an engineering-centered, multidisciplinary university integrating engineering, science, management, economics, liberal arts, and law. The CSUST has 16 schools and departments with numerous disciplines for doctors and master's degrees. At present, the CSUST boasts a student population of over 30,000 undergraduates and more than 4,700 postgraduates. Established in a poor country, the Confucius Institute at UL is just like a seedling planted on barren soil thanks to Hanban's loving care and under great support of both cooperative universities, it is growing up more and more sturdily after five years of wind and rain. The establishment of the Confucius Institute at UL has been paid attention to by the Liberian authorities. In December of 2008, when heading the delegation to attend the unveiling ceremony of the Confucius Institute, Professor Wang Yaozhong, the chairman of the CI Board of Directors, was cordially received by the Liberian president, Alan John Sirleaf. Ever since its founding, the Confucius Institute at UL has been greatly supported by the leaders of both cooperative universities. Mutual visits are frequently paid, the meetings of board of directors are regularly held, and matters of vital importance seriously discussed. 
which has provided the correct direction and a reliable guarantee for the development of the institute. The Chinese Embassy in Liberia has attached a great importance to the role played by the Confucius Institute, supporting it all the time in various ways. Ambassador Zhou Yuxiao, Zhao Jianhua, and Zhang Yue have spared no pains in promoting the Confucius Institute's growth. In order to further Chinese teaching, the Chinese Embassy has specially set up a Chinese Ambassador's Scholarship at the University of Liberia. The Confucius Institute is located on the second floor of GD building at the University of Liberia. It used to be a building full of bullet holes with signs of war. Now it has taken on a new look after renovation. Used by the Confucius Institute are three offices, two classrooms, and one office for professors. Besides, a cultural center has been built, having a usable floor space of over 400 square meters, with a reading room, an entertainment room, a classroom, and another one with multimedia equipment. And the reading room has a collection of about 2,000 books and audiovisual materials in both Chinese and English. Changsha University of Science and Technology provides the Confucius Institute with an endless source of Chinese teachers. So far, 10 teachers have been sent to teach or work in Liberia. They are the first Chinese co-director Duan Shengfeng, the second Chinese co-director Zheng Shaoqiu, and the teachers of Chinese Li Jihong, Shen Chun, Hu Qiliang, Wang Huihui, Liu Renjie, Liu Tanxiao, and the volunteer teachers Gu Yue and Wang Fen. It needs courage and willpower to work in Liberia, so far away from China. For more than five years, the teachers who were down with malaria are over 50%, which shows an aspect of the poor working and living conditions. But they are all the brave, going to work in Liberia. In spite of thousands of Li, thus forming a relay team of teachers, they stick to their posts after overcoming countless difficulties, Institute. such as a hot say, weather, say, mosquito bites, think, attacks of diseases, lack of power and water, and so loneliness and the homesickness. The Confucius Institute at UL has a local staff of six workers who shoulder local administrative work and teaching service. Their diligence and loyalty guarantee the institute's formal functioning. The director, Dr. Arthur Barr, is an African scholar of history. Out of his ardent love of the Chinese language and culture, he gave up his comfortable life in the United States and returned to Liberia to found the Confucius Institute. Since then, he has been holding the position of a director regarding Confucius Institute as his career in the rest of his life. Chinese teaching at the Confucius Institute at UL has special features of its own. As a result of the war, the students are comparatively old in age and many of them come from very poor families. And this has made the teaching more difficult. Therefore, teaching at the Confucius Institute is flexibly conducted according to the local conditions and students' levels. 
Now Chinese is offered as a minor course as well as a foreign language course for non-majors at the University of Liberia. Since the founding of the institute, over 2,000 students have got registered to study the Chinese language at UL, and 22 of them have been selected through examination to make their one-year further studies of the language at the Changsha University of Science and Technology, aided by Hanban Scholarship. Learning Chinese has changed the fate of many students, as is shown by the fact that almost all returned scholarship students have landed a job at Chinese companies in Liberia, and two of them have been enrolled as postgraduates by Chinese universities. Aside from a regular classroom teaching, the Confucius Institute has offered a Chinese teaching program over radio to enable those who cannot enter the classroom for the sake of work to pick up a spoken Chinese. And it has also launched such radio programs as Chinese music appreciation and lectures on Chinese history, which are warmly welcomed by the audience. People are happy to hear the voice of China echoing over Liberia. Active interesting activities outside the classroom are effective extensions of Chinese teaching in the classroom. In October 2011, the Confucius Institute set up a Chinese corner to provide a platform for students to practice spoken Chinese and learn about the Chinese culture. At the Chinese corner, students can learn through entertainment by participating in learning to paint Chinese paintings, practice Tai Chi boxing, and watch Chinese movies. Besides teaching Chinese, the Confucius Institute aims to promote cultural exchange by introducing the Chinese culture. So far, it has held Chinese book shows and photo shows, offered Chinese paper cutting classes, organized Chinese song scenes, spent Chinese traditional festivals together with students, and held Chinese Liberian friendship table tennis competitions. Established in November 2009, the Students' Choir has attracted the public attention as the Institute's window through which to show the Chinese culture and the students' mental outlook. Up to now, the students have already learned to sing about 20 Chinese songs, and the choir members have twice greeted the artistic troops from Chinese universities by putting on their own singing performances on the same stage together with them. To promote a cultural exchange, the Confucius Institute at UL has invited the artistic troops from three Chinese universities to give public performances in Liberia from 2011 to 2013. The artistic troops gave wonderful performances of Chinese traditional music, dancing, and martial arts, attracting a large audience, including the governmental high officials headed by Liberian president and vice president, as well as ambassadors from other countries. And this has effectively spread the Chinese culture and made the Confucius Institute widely known. To enable the students to learn about China and Chinese culture fully and directly, the Confucius Institute has successfully organized summer or winter camps with about 70 students having traveled around China. They have seen a real China and experienced Chinese culture deeply 
by visiting scenic and historic spots and participating in various activities like lectures on Tai Chi boxing and evening parties. And this has aroused enthusiasm in more students for learning Chinese and promoted the friendship between the students of the two countries. In the past five years, the Confucius Institute has actively walked into the local community for more space for development. It has reached agreements with some Chinese companies in Liberia about cooperation. So, arrangements are made for students to visit the Chinese companies and practice their spoken Chinese there. And it's also typical of the Confucius Institute at UL for Chinese teachers to visit the local primary and high schools, donating them stationaries and articles for sports, as well as for Liberian students to have a get-together with Chinese peacekeeping soldiers. The achievements made by the Confucius Institute at UL have been approved by Hanbai and the CIA headquarters. In 2009 and 2010, the co-director Duan Shengfeng and the Chinese teacher Li Jihong were awarded Advanced Individual of Confucius Institute for their excellent performance. For over five years, the Confucius Institute at UL has drawn a wide attention and concern from all walks of life, with a lot of domestic and foreign media reporting its achievements frequently. In order to achieve more, the Confucius Institute at UL aims high. It plans to offer the Chinese language and literature as a discipline within two or three years by actively improving its teaching conditions and preparing for resources of teachers. The more plowing, the better harvest. Left on this bumpy road are too many of our heavy footprints and drops of diligent sweat. It's just these footprints and sweat drops that embody our brilliant achievements. The former barren soil is now blooming beautifully. The Confucius Institute at UL is striding forward steadily towards a bright future. <laughs>